Hi everyone, my name is Brianna. I'm a teacher from Hujiang. In the following few minutes, I'm going to tell you how to use CC Talk to deliver an online class. The introduction will include how to log in, how to change the language into English, and how to enter a classroom, and how to teach on CC Talk. First, as you can see from the picture, type in your username and password, and then click Login. If you don't have a username, please register a Huja account first. After you log in, you will see an interface like the picture on the left. And then click the left corner as I have highlighted. And then click the first option you see. Then you will see an interface like this. Choose the last but one option, which means language. Click before English, then you will have an English version of CC Talk. You will get the number of uh, a virtual classroom before you deliver the class. So in order to find that classroom, you need to type in the ID or the number of the classroom that you were given from the place that I've circled. Click search or press enter, then you will get into that classroom. On the left upper corner of this classroom, you can see the number of people in the classroom. And if you click the little triangle, you can see exactly which students are in the classroom. And if you cl right click a student's name, uh, you will find several options. For example, click on onto mic send messages, click a uh, kick out or report him. Usually you only need to use the first option, which means you can put students on the mic, then you can talk and communicate with them. Usually you will use this function when you need, you need a student to answer a question on the mic. So right click the name of the student and then choose click onto the mic. The students then can talk to you. Now look at the right corner of this classroom. You will find several icons. Uh, the first one is PPT. Click PPT, you can upload your PPT or choose the, the PPT that have already been uploaded. For the other icons, usually you don't need to use them. Okay, so now you have clicked the PPT and then you will see Click to upload PPT. That's a place to, for you to upload new PPT. Or if you have already uploaded them, then you can choose from the list. And on the right, you can see a preview of the content of the PowerPoint that you are going to use. If you are ready, then you can click presentation. Then the students can see the PowerPoint. Of course, if you want to start class, you need to click speak so that you are on the mic and the students can hear you. And you also need to click begin to start the class. Usually we will click begin first and then click speak. So okay, after you start a class, you will see a toolbar. Let's see which functions you can use during class. The first one is used to close the PowerPoint. So unless you find yourself that have chosen a wrong PowerPoint, usually during class, you don't need to use it. Okay, the second one is a laser pen. You can use it to point the important information to the students. The following four tools are all used for highlighting the important message on the PowerPoint. You can underline, you can circle, you can square all the information that you want students to focus on. If you click the letter A, you can type a text on the PowerPoint. And if you made any mistakes, you can use the eraser. Now, let's focus on the left corner of the classroom. If you put your mouse on each icon, you will see the English direction. I'd like to point out the last but one icon, which I have squared. 
click it before the class and re-click it after class, then you can get a recorded file in the suggested place. By doing that, you can get an MP3 of the whole class. So do remember you need to click it twice, one before the class and uh, the second time after class. So why do you need to do this? First, sometimes probably you will be required by us to provide the MP3 of the, of the class. And on the other hand, I think for the first few classes, if you record a whole class, you can actually review what you have done during the class, which you have done good, which you can do better next time. Of course, during the class, the students can communicate with you not only from the mic, they can also type. If you type in the right corner of the classroom, the messages could be sent to discussion area. It's a place that a teacher and students can talk. But usually, I would suggest you, the teacher, to write on the PowerPoint, which can make your point more clear. But for the students, if they are not able to talk on the mic, they can type the messages to you. So during a class, you should also take a look at the discussion area in case that students might raise some questions to you. Okay, so when you have finished the class, you can click stop to end this class and you will naturally get off the mic if you click stop. Okay, are you clear with how to teach on CC Talk? Wish you could enjoy your teaching journey by using CC Talk.